We were tired of scratching and scratching and scratching. So in one of my previous videos, I did mention about a brief period where my family and I had to deal with bed bugs. Now today, let me tell you the detailed hell that we experienced. So let me bring you to the year 2005. I'm 9 years old and here my mom just one day starts hyping up about us moving to a double story house. This place that we were living at was our first and last apartment that we moved into in 1999. From Ipoh all the way to Kuala Lumpur, the city. Yeah, we are all Ipoh kids. Both my grandparents were also born in Ipoh. But for me, life was always at this apartment. My earliest memory was of this place. So I had always dreamt of living in a double story house because I just loved the idea of having staircase in a house. So we go through some stuff while planning this move and it works out eventually. Then Archie herself found another double story house and she moved from that apartment as well. Now this was the super big house that had an eerie feeling, remember? So we get the keys first, wash it up, pack out things and we move. It was a huge house, very big and I was very excited because of the staircase. Okay, it took me one day to get tired of it though. So I don't have an exact memory for when it started. But then the first few nights of intense scratching brought back my eczema trauma. And I was so scared that it was coming back or something. But once I noticed the insect-like bite marks on my body, that's when I ruled out eczema. And it happened so fast that we just accepted this new reality. That there was something living in the house with us. Crawling in these walls with us. That just added on to the creepy factor of this house. Like someone was watching us. And we have no privacy. Oh. Who said that? Was this a curse? Because black magic is quite a thing in Malaysia. It was my dad who then spotted these critters on the beds, the couch, and everywhere else. They were very small in size. Smaller than a fly, but of course larger than an ant. And their usual hangout spot would be at the edges of the mattresses. On the couch set though, they preferred hiding deep inside the cushion seats. Sometimes they'd be seen chilling on the walls, admiring the ambience, I think. So now we knew what these guests of our house looked like. But everything else about them was still a mystery. And then with a little consultation from Archie, we heard the verdict that these were bedbugs. Or as Archie called them in her language, makuna. And as soon as she realized this, she kicked into witch doctor mode. She ting tanged walla walla bang bang the whole house. She ordered us to bring our mattresses to dry them out under the sun and to pour hot boiling water all around the bed railings, then to wash the bed sheets with hot boiling water and dry them under the hot sun. Kill them with the sun. The sun was our weapon. And knowing that Archie and her crazy methods always worked, we did this with complete faith in her words. So after doing all of that, I sat back thinking, that's the end. They were back. And they were multiplying as the days went by. We got so used to looking out for these bed bugs as we sat in the living room, looking through the edges of our mattresses before we slept to catch them. It became a routine to do this every night. One time when I was at school, I caught one having a field day in my uniform. Hentai! But I never took notice of the severity until we looked at the last room. So this was a huge house and this was also during my dad's early stages of his business attempts. That time he was trying to run a restaurant and he would give some of the rooms in our house to rent to his staff. So one of his chefs was the tenant in the last room. He was a friendly guy with limited English and we as kids would always play and joke around with him. So one day we're at the dinner table and he's just sitting there talking and he starts talking about the bugs. And I'm like, of course, you know, it's the same house. He's living through this shit as well. And then he starts describing the wall in his room. But because of his limited English and broken Malay, I'm not sure if he was Malaysian now that I think about it, we couldn't really understand what he was trying to say. So he brings us to his room and because of the lack of furniture in there, we saw hell. There was blood smeared all over the walls. He had a mattress and he didn't have much with him, no furniture, nothing. So the bugs would freely be running on the walls and he would smack them dead, resulting in those smears. That's when I realized how bad the situation was. What I could be going to sleep with every night. It wasn't just one or two bugs. There were hundreds of them. It was a nightmare. It was ruining our lives. We were so desperate for morning to come so that we wouldn't have to sleep. The kids could go to school, adults could go to work and escape the bugs during the day. Finally, after many failed home remedies, we consulted the experts. Experts. We called the Ghostbusters! Okay, we got in touch with the pest exterminator and then they came to the house, did their assessment, then they requested for us to stay somewhere else for three days. Now, I enjoyed this because we stayed at Archie's house. Best weekend sleepover. They did their mumbo jumbo and when we came back, the entire house had such a chemical smell but that just made us feel, ah, 
it's finally over. I'd rather breathe in these chemicals than go to sleep with those critters. Yeah, after this we just gave up. I think my mom tried to contact those exterminators again and they did their stuff but it still didn't work. After about a year, we decided that it was time to move. We were tired of scratching and scratching and scratching. Our Christmas in that house was ruined. So we found a house in the same row as Archie's. Yes, I was so happy. But you see, houses in Malaysia are usually not furnished. I think nowadays you can find furnished houses but it has never really been a thing here in Malaysia. You buy your own furniture, okay? So when we were moving from this hellhole, we doused everything in in hot boiling water. We had some stuff that we had to leave behind out of fear of bringing the bugs with us to this new house and then some stuff that we cleaned from top to bottom. So we moved into this house and life's looking all good. It's in the same row as Archie's. Archie starts coming over to look after us every single weekday. I was enjoying this. They followed us here. <gasps> okay, yes, we brought these spawns of Satan with us to this new house. Are you kidding me? After all that hell. This is the time that my mom starts sleeping on the couch. Remember that? You know, the expired moldy bread incident? That's why my mom was sleeping on the couch. And it was hell all over again. But if I have to say this, it wasn't as bad as the old house. But still, the trauma that we had, we just couldn't see the bright side of things. So how did we finally escape these bugs? Now around the end of the year, my mom got the chance to go to Ireland for a few months and she felt like she couldn't just leave my dad to take care of us. Cause my dad is like the lenient and not so strict type. So she decided to move back into Archie's house and leave us and my dad in Archie's care while she was away in Ireland. And you know what? That was the end of the bugs. We did still bring some of the furniture with us. In fact, we still have some of those furniture in this current house that we're living in. But we did throw away the big stuff like the couch set, our double-decker bed, a few cabinets. And that trauma has really had an effect on us. Cause sometimes to this day, even one sight of a random innocent bug will give us Makuna flashbacks. And we'll go on alert, drying everything out under the sun just in case. Cause once you live through the bed bug's hell, you're just no longer the same person. I'm still so traumatized by that bedbox experience. We have no idea how that first house got infected. It definitely happened before we moved in because that house also had a very bad termite problem. The kitchen cabinets were falling apart now that I think about it. It looked nice on the outside but it was hell on the inside. I do think that we could have avoided this had we been more attentive when first looking at the house. This was our first time moving out of that apartment. We were noobs but thankfully we were renting that place back then. This current house that I'm living in is the first house that we actually bought. I just feel Feel bad that we brought those bugs to the other house. Like that owner must have gone through hell trying to get rid of those bugs that we brought. Sorry Mr. Owner.